We're here today to answer a question that's as old as time itself. Which is the best money making method in Dreamlight Valley? Pumpkins or canola? Now, I know what you may be thinking. You've seen the videos, you've read the Reddit threads, and the obvious answer is pumpkins, right? Well, I'm here today to tell you that there may be more to this discussion than some people are saying. Anyway, my name is Kane. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon and turn on notifications because we have been posting a lot of videos for Dream My Valley and we've been streaming Dream My Valley pretty much every single day. So make sure you tune in. Make sure you tune in. Click that bell icon and see when we're streaming. Anyway, let's get into something that's everyone's favorite subject, math. So we're over here in the Forgotten Lands and we're going to take a look at how much it costs to buy some pumpkins. Goofy, I need your help. Goofy. I need to buy 50 pumpkins. To keep everything simple, we're going to do 50 pumpkins and also 50 canola. So in order to get 50 pumpkin seeds, which will get us 50, at least 50 pumpkins, we're gonna, it's going to cost us 13,700 star coins. Now, I have already planted a bunch of pumpkins, and here they are right here. So we're going to go ahead and pluck up these pumpkins. Again, to keep things simple, to keep things standard, no randomly stuff we're just gonna plant we're just gonna harvest them without any help from a companion so let's go ahead and get that done right now so let's go ahead and sell these pumpkins and see how much profit we are going to get let's take a look goofy come on hurry up bro hurry up man so 50 pumpkins i got a little extra but 50 pumpkins that's gonna give us 33,200. so a little bit of handy math and that gives us total profit of 15,900 star coins which is not too bad so now let's hop on over and check out the canola let's go so this time around buying 50 canola is only going to cost 1250 so 1250 star coins and again i've already planted 50 right on over here so let's go ahead and harvest them and we're going to see how much profit we get so let's head on over back to the stall goofy i need to sell you some canola now let me see here so 50 canola and that's going to give us a profit that's going to give us uh 5450 which is a profit of 4200 so now you're thinking well again the obvious answer is pumpkins obviously 15,000 is more than 4200 well like i mentioned earlier that i think there's something that a lot of people are not taking into consideration something that's very important when you're playing these kind of games and that is time the time it takes to grow the pumpkins at all also what's more important i think is the time that you the player have to play the game so let me give you a little scenario let's say you are a player that only has one hour a day to play this game you know you're studying for an exam you got toddlers you don't you just don't have all day to play the game you're a very busy person so you log on you plant some pumpkins you water them and then you go do some quests maybe you'll run away from donald while he's freaking out <laughs> whatever the case may be an hour is, is up and you have to log off the game. Now you log on the next day. Your pumpkins need to be watered again. So you water them and then you go visit Mother Gothel who wants you to get 500 flowers and she's going to call you a loser for doing so. But you kind of like it. So you do it anyway. You water your pumpkins and you have to log off again after one hour. On the third day, on the third day when you log on, now your pumpkins are finally grown they, they, they are ready to be harvested whereas let's say for example you're the same person who only has an hour to play the game and you do canola instead i'm looking for scallops by the way if you're wondering and you do scallops sorry <laughs> you do canola instead well if you only have an hour to play the game you log on you plant your you plant your uh canola you water them and then you go about your business you should at least depending on if you can remember to water them, have at least one batch of canola that's ready to be harvested for each play session. And what that will give you is that will give you some money to spend. Let's say you want to go shopping at Screws. You want to update, you want to upgrade your house. You want to upgrade some of these stalls. You at least have a little bit of money to play around with every single time you log into the game. Whereas if you just do pumpkins, you may take you three full days in order to get those pumpkins, depending on how much time you have to play every single day now of course this scenario doesn't you know this scenario isn't for everyone some people can play the game for eight hours a day some people can only play for 30 minutes a day it just depends that's why i was saying that one thing that people are not taking into consideration is how much time you have and now even with the pumpkins there is a way to make your pumpkins make you even more money by cooking them but again, that's going to take even more time. If you don't have a lot of time, you may you may be spending all your time 
harvesting your pumpkins and then cooking the pumpkins and then buying the ingredients and then selling them and that by the time you do all that you don't have time to do anything else <laughs> so the point i'm trying to make is that for each individual player you may want to choose how you spend your time and what's most effective for you for me personally i like canola because i can get on my stream i can i can plant my canola go do go do a few things and then by the end of the stream which may be two or three hours I'll have some canola to play around with and I can go ahead and sell them and then, you know, spend some money on something. Whereas if I'm just doing pumpkins, those pumpkins won't be ready until the next stream unless I do a very long stream. That's the point that I'm making. And uh, I think it's a very good point. So again, it just depends on what you're doing and how you're playing the game. I need scallops, guys. <laughs> there are no scallops over here. There's no scallops. I need scallops. It just depends on how you're playing the game and what you want to do and what you're trying to achieve. I know if you're a very patient person and you can wait, then pumpkins may be good for you. If you want to have some money to spend every time you log on, then maybe canola may be good for you. Or, you know, the best of both worlds. How about plant both? You know, diversify your money making methods. You know, plant some pumpkins, plant some canola, and that way each time you log on, you will have something that can make you some money. So that's just my input. That's what I've been thinking again. If you're going for the best bang for your buck, then definitely pumpkins and even cook them if you have the time. Cook them, make them into pumpkin puffs or whatever it is, and that will give you the best bang for your buck. If you're low on time, you don't have a lot of time to play, then maybe do canola. Maybe do another crop. Maybe do something else where you can at least have something to sell each day you log on and you can try to spend that money too. Let me know what you think in the comments if you think that uh, pumpkins are still the best way to make some money or if you're doing something else are you doing canola are you doing carrots are you diversifying let me know your thoughts in the comments and again make sure you subscribe to the channel for some additional content and also make sure you can see when we're live streaming click that bell icon all right so i will see you all in the next video in the next stream thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great rest of your day bye